what is the most important learning point you take as an earlier hypnotherapist from the stage? What is the point? A learning point about stage hypnosis or hypnosis in general or therapeutic hypnosis? Wow. Because there's a lot of different things you can look at there <laughs> in terms of... I know you're looking at some questions from yeah. last night. Uh, uh, did, did they... Probably from the stage, I would say. So what what do I learn from stage? What is the learning point as a... I mean, you, you were... You have been a, a hypnotherapist, right. but what was the learning point from the stage? What is the benefit when you look back? Because we have a lot of hypnotherapists that are thinking of doing a stage or sure. get involved. Well, I think a big learning point is your confidence. Yeah. Uh, you gain as you're successful on stage, you gain confidence in your ability to hypnotize. So right now, uh, I I take on all, all comers. You know, if if a person really wants to be hypnotized. Uh, and they're ready for it at that time. I said, sure. You know, I see a lot of hypnotists at uh, gatherings, social gatherings, and somebody say, oh, you're a hypnotist. Well, let's hypnotize. Can you hypnotize me? Well, this probably isn't the right place to do it, right? Well, that shows me they're probably not very confident in their self and their ability, mm -hmm. and they don't want to fail. Mm -hmm. And granted, you do not want to fail. So the more things you do in a demonstration that you're successful with, mm -hmm. the more risk you're willing to take when you go back to your office. Mm -hmm because it's worked there and bottom line is we, we did this last night we did something where um, I had Nicole do part of the hypnotic induction mm -hmm. in high German mm -hmm. Swiss and, German or Swiss German I'm sorry Swiss German no sorry yeah. no in Swiss German <laughs> and I told the students on stage that I was going to interpret what you were saying mm -hmm. well I she did it in Swiss German and I just interpreted what I thought she was saying but it was hypnotic related. And a couple of times she told me that what she was saying in, in the Swiss German was very close to how I was interpreting it. But As we promise, we'll also be aware of everything. But every word that you hear in any language will help you relax even more. In einem tiefen Atemzug lass alles los, was dich beschäftigt, von Kopf bis zu den Zehenspitzen. That's in each breath you take, what you bring out deep, each thought that you think helps you relax. But the bottom line is, hypnosis is a language in and of itself. So, and I also did, the one thing I didn't do last night that I was going to do, I don't think I did the nonverbal group induction, did I? No. No. I have where I do a nonverbal, where I look at everybody and I go, and they all go right back into hypnosis. Mm -hmm. First time I ever did that demonstration was in front of a group of hypnotists. Never even thought about, what if this doesn't work, mm -hmm. you know? So I think people are afraid that something's not going to work. What I found is, 
you may you learn by making mistakes yeah. so this didn't work on stage this time why didn't it not work what is and when i'm training somebody um, I have interns that work with me. I have people who mentor with me. When I trade them, train them in a training process and they do something, I never tell them, no, no, that's not right. I always tell them, you know, yeah, let's look at that. Is there anything we could even add to that to make it even better, all right? Because bottom line is, you're not really doing things wrong, but you possibly could do things better and get the results that you want quicker and more prominent level. What do you think that's, that's a question that came up. I think hypnosis is more, or hypnotizing people is more than just use the right, word, the right words. Oh, and yes. as we saw yesterday, uh, it's more than just a language thing. That's right. And much more. You? Well, number one, when you get up there and give your pre-talk, all right, you're, you're not only selling what you're going to be doing, mm -hmm. you're selling yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to have the people who come up, first of all, they have to be comfortable enough with you to come up on stage, all right? So if you don't get any volu if you do a demonstration, you have 100 people in the room and you're doing a demonstration for a Toastmasters group or for a women's group or a men's group, and you can't get anyone to volunteer, you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong in your presentation. Uh, so there are things that I've learned that you can do during a demonstration. Uh, like let's say if you just do a, a susceptibility exercise, the magnetic fingers, if Nicole's fingers come together, I might say, Nicole, could I borrow you for a second? Would you be kind enough to come up? All right, so I'm asking her. I knew already she's gonna be a good subject. Uh, so the person comes up and says, well, I don't know if I can be hypnotized. Man, they're, they're just like that, yeah. all right? Because you've already predetermined one thing about them, plus they give you the permission. So you already got two out of three things going for you. The next thing is the induction, and that's the, you've already succeeded twice. Once, magnetic fingers, two, by getting them to come up, asking them if they'd volunteer. And if they said no, then I wouldn't have come up. And the rapport. I think the That's relationship, right. yes. the rapport is so important. It That's is. That's my opinion. That's right. Once you have a rapport, it's much easier to hypnotize. It's yeah. much easier to get volunteers. Yeah. It's much easier to have the audience stay with you because right? you've developed a rapport. A lot of, uh, I found that a lot of clinical people, and I was a clinical person, when they go out and do a demonstration, I was guilty of this at first, I would do just something very, very serious very serious so it wasn't fun for, it was like it was a uh, wow i can't believe that happened but then when you add some humor to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then they're laughing and have a good time mm -hmm. all right so it's fun mm -hmm. you know what i'm gonna try that's fun i'm gonna try that all right mm -hmm. so you want to make it you want to make it a learning experience but you want to make it a fun experience and actually you never fail i mean even if it doesn't work out i happen that it happened to me too in front of a group then you say you say see i cannot go against your will it's not a problem at all in my opinion and i did something last night at the beginning six people have been hypnotized before all right mm -hmm. i said mm -hmm. I, were you hypnotized mm -hmm. by me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. three of them had been and three of them had not mm -hmm. three of them been hypnotized on stage by another hypnotist well i did an instant all six of them mm -hmm. the three that i hypnotized before went just like that mm -hmm. two of them went somewhat down mm -hmm. and the last one did not go down deep at all so that just goes to show me that there's some hypnotists out there doing shows that probably aren't really representing themselves in such a way. Because mm -hmm. if, if Nicole's a really good subject and she trusts the person, mm -hmm. she's been hypnotized by me before, she's going to be hypnotized by the next hypnotist just as easily. Mm -hmm. So something that, and the problem probably is that the hypnotist that hypnotized the other three was really not experienced, uh, didn't have them down into a very deep level. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a number of different reasons why so it's in, plus, but I went right on, and three of them jumped up and yeah. did what I told them to. Yeah. And the other three didn't, yeah. but the other three, either the other three, two of them, uh, two of my, uh, two of them I kept on stage and were okay subjects. The one gentleman I sat back yeah. on the right, but the yeah. other two I kept on. Yeah. And by the time I get to a point where I wanted them to do different tasks, they were deep enough that they they, they were able to do them. So next yeah. time around, yeah. whether it's you, whether it's me or somebody else, mm -hmm. if they're comfortable with that person. They're going to allow them to hypnotize them mm -hmm. and they're going to be slammed up. Mm -hmm. 